Starved of land, it hasn't stopped Bangladeshi farmers like Mohammed from growing his crops. These floating farms woven from weeds are providing a lifeline for farmers like him. This centuries-old tradition in these low-lying deltas is usually only done for five months of the year. But with extended flooding seasons, it is becoming more common. When I was a boy, this area was dry land. We used to play in the fields and grow rice. But with the water levels rising in both the sea and the river, water started to accumulate here, so we can't cultivate crops anymore. The farms take about two months to make and is easy to irrigate. It's eco-friendly as it requires less space than conventional farming and does not need pesticides. The farmers grow vegetables and fruit, including cucumbers, radishes, pumpkins, papayas and tomatoes. We make floating beds and grow seedlings on them. Then we sell the seedlings in the market. It takes 15 to 20 days for the plants to grow before we can collect them. We use water hyacinths to make floating beds. This way we can harvest five times a year. Floating farms have increased by 50% in the last five years, and there are now 6,000 farmers. Its popularity has been boosted by support from authorities and NGOs concerned over the impacts of the climate crisis. We are trying to help farmers grow good quality seedlings because good quality seedlings yield good quality vegetables and they have to follow certain rules to get good quality seedlings which will survive more days. More than a quarter of Bangladesh's population of 165 million people live by the coast. And the 2019 IMF report warns rising sea levels and coastal erosion could cause the country to lose 17% of its land surface and 30% of food production by 2050. And for farmers like Mohammed, this is a major concern. But by reviving the old, he's helping ensure food for his family for generations to come. Afsal Ahmed, TRT World.